Hi there, welcome to this quick tips video on multi-track drum quantizing. In front of me I have a drum groove that was recorded in another tempo, so it could have even been a live drum performance. I'm going to use the tempo detection function to find the original tempo. I can do this by clicking on the kick drum track and then going up to the project menu and selecting tempo detection. Then select the analyze button. Now Cubase will quickly analyze that and give me a tempo track and a time signature track. We need to reset the time signature from 1-4 to 4-4. The click track and the time signature are right, but we still have a few marginal issues to do with the drum timing. So let's start prepping our track for the audio quantize. Let's start by moving the tempo track up above the kick drum track so all our tracks are clustered together. Open the sample editor by double clicking on the kick drum part and then go to the hit points tab on the left hand side and start moving the threshold slider. What we want to do is ensure that we have a vertical line, which is a hit point, on each of our kick drum hits. Now they're sitting directly on each of our kick drum hits. Let's move over to the snare track and repeat the process to make sure that all of our snare hits are highlighted. Normally in a track, the hi-hats would give the greatest amount of time detail, but there's no hi-hats in this track. But I have noticed there's a floor time, so I'm going to go and repeat this process using the threshold slider to make sure I've captured all of my floor tom parts. I'll repeat this again on the other tom part to make sure that I've got as much time information captured as possible. The next step is to move all of our tracks into a folder. So we select them, right mouse click, and select Move Selected Tracks to New Folder. Let's rename this Drums, and the most important step is to turn on Group Editing. That's that orange button below the track name. Open up the Quantize panel. It looks a little bit different because up the top we've got this timing priority. So I'm removing the hi-hat, reducing the snare a little bit, and raising the floor tom and the other tom. We're providing Cubase with some direct pointers on which tracks contain the most timing information. Once we're happy with that, let's select Slice, and Cubase will slice our drum parts into small regions. Let's move down to the main Quantize panel. I've selected a main quantize setting of 1 16th because that's what I think is going to suit my track the best. A real winner for drum quantizing inside a Cubase is the tick functionality. I can increase or lower the ticks to add a red area around the beat. Now this red area is the area that Cubase is going to leave alone with quantizing, so it's only going to quantize what's outside the tick area, which gives us more of a human feel and it means that we've got more of a groove in our drum quantizing. Lastly, use the crossfade function to ensure your regions crossfade into each other seamlessly.